Hello, uh, my name is Ishmael, Ishmael Muchena. I'm from Zimbabwe and in Zimbabwe I'm involved in the mining industry. I'm the managing director of Teto Creek Mining Zimbabwe, which is a small company. At the moment we just, uh, we've got one project and we're looking at acquiring another project. And what's important about this project is, is that there's 300 employees and that sort of in my mind, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was, I think maybe I was scared or worried about this idea of having 300 employees. But at the back of my mind, I just kept thinking about how I'll be able to manage that organization. Until I met another guy called Carlos and he told me about uh, going to BSN, uh, starting his MBA. And just like that, I knew that I had an answer the thing that has been at the back of my mind that had been worrying me for weeks and the answer was to do an MBA and that's how I ended up here so what 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 made me decide what actually made me say this is what I need to do is um, he explained how the program is structured and the flexibility of it is what sold me that for me, obviously, I'm acquiring a new business, I'm getting into a new field. I could not take time off to go and learn and then spend a year or whatever uh, learning before I come back. That could not happen. It's almost impossible because as soon as they acquire the business, you need to run it, you, you see. So that to me was uh, what actually made me realize that I can actually do the acquisition, continue what I'm doing, my work, and, and learn at the same time. So it made it a very easy decision uh, for me. And uh, what I like, and when we first came in here on the, now to comment on the culture of BSN, and when we got off the bus, a lot of us, no one said it to anyone, no one communicated this to anyone, but I could see that everybody was expecting to see big buildings, lots of people, and a big canvas, but we just saw one, like one block, and obviously at first it's a bit disappointing, like ah, oh, so few people. But then, as you come to the lectures, as you as you interact with the other students, you actually realize that, uh, especially for postgraduate, maybe for undergraduate, it's it's actually more effective, and you learn better, and because it's more intimate, uh, small numbers, small numbers of people, small groups. And you actually feel like it's easy to feel like you're part of something. Unlike in a, in, on a campus where there's like 10,000 students, you're just a little fish, you know, in a big ocean. And that to me, you, you never really connect with the people who are teaching you and the people who are running the organization. I know students in some universities who never met anyone in management. The only, only people they have contact with are the lecturers. So I like this setting. It's more intimate. It's more. Uh, it's more nourishing. Like there's more nurturing, and it it also encourages people to come out and speak because there's less people. Big crowds often intimidate people, and so the lecturers, yes, uh, they're on point. And um, so far, uh, Brian did a very good job. He's got a very good uh, grasp on strategy and he was able to steer the, the direction of the, of the lectures. Uh, Paul is excellent, marketing the other group, uh, group B, they were all raving about him and whatever they were saying about him being good is, is true. And uh, Joss, the, the action, learning, action learning was good and when I started the action learning literature review, I didn't really know what was required of me from a literature review of action learning. But after the workshops that we did on action learning, it actually became very clear, especially the exercises where there was a, a coach, an observer, and then the problem presenter, and then you work out the problems. It's a very good way of actually extracting information from people. This is the direction that uh, the business I'm going to take in the business. I'm already formulating a strategy and obviously implementation is going to be another thing altogether. But again, what, what, uh, the best thing about my, the position I'm in right now 
is that I'm getting into a new business, I'm acquiring new skills, so I can actually apply those skills without someone thinking like, oh, where did you get that from? Where is that coming from? Because they never had anything from me. They don't know what I can do or cannot do. So I will be coming from a position of authority, a position of skill. Unlike uh, four months ago when I really didn't know what, how I was going to approach this uh, acquisition. So it's going to be easier for me in the transition of acquiring, getting to know the employees, getting to know the business, and then trying to direct the business in a certain direction. Um, and so far, oh, so yeah, to, to, to wrap it up, I'm enjoying it a lot here. I've gone shopping a couple of times. I was outside in the flea market. Lovely place, beautiful, organized. If only Africa could be 10% as organized as this country, would progress, would be somewhere right now.